The Ethiopian Educational Media Agency presents English for Grade 8. This is Program 22. Lesson topic, A Bad Friend. Produced by Srafel Zode. Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Oh, where are my friends today? Oh, I think they are coming. Come in, please. Hello, friends. Hi, Hello. how are you? Please sit here. Thank you. Azeb, I came to your home yesterday. But I couldn't find you. Yes, I was not at home. Where did you go? Torna and I went to my grandfather's home. Oh, really? Students, yesterday, Torna and Azeb went to Azeb's grandfather's home. Now, listen to what they did there. Listen. <laughs> Good morning, Grandpa. Good morning, my child. This is my friend, Tola. Oh, how do you do, Tola? How do you do? You have a good friend, Azeb. Yes, is there a bad friend? Oh, yes. Let me tell you a story about a bad friend. Okay. 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 All right. Once upon a time, an old man and a young man were walking through a forest. Suddenly, they saw a bear in front of them. A bear? Yes, they saw a bear. Then? Then, the young man ran to a tree and climbed it. But the old man couldn't climb it because he was too old. Poor old man. Then, he remembered that bears do not eat dead people. So, he lay on the ground and did not move. Then? Then, the bear smelled his legs arms and face. Then it went away. Oh, good. The young man came down from the tree and he asked the old man, did the bear say anything to you? What did the old man say? The old man said, yes, he told me to find a good friend. Oh, the young man is a bad friend. You're right. I hope you are good to your friends. Yes. yes. Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you. You're welcome, children. See you next time. See you. Students, have you listened to the story? I hope you have. Now, listen again. An old man and a young man were walking through the forest. Suddenly, they saw a bear in front of them. Students, who were walking through the forest? Who were walking through the forest? Tell your teacher. Tola, who were walking through the forest? An old man and a young man. Yes, an old man and a young man were walking through the forest. And what did they see in front of them? Students, what did they see? Tell your teacher. A bear. Students, did you say a bear? All right. Now, listen to the story. The young man ran to a tree and climbed it. Students, where did the young man run? Where did the young man run? Azeb? To a tree. He ran to a tree and climbed it. But the old man couldn't climb the tree because he was too old. Students, could the old man climb the tree?
taller. Could the old man climb the tree? No, he couldn't. The old man couldn't climb the tree because he was too old. Students, why couldn't the old man climb the tree? Students, tell me again, why couldn't he climb the tree? Azeb? Because he was too old. Yes, the old man couldn't climb the tree because he was too old. So he lay on the ground and didn't move. Then the bear smelled his legs, arms and face. Then it went away. Students, now listen to the rest of the story and your teacher will ask you some questions after the broadcast. Now listen. Then the young man came down from the tree and asked the old man, Did the bear say anything to you? Then the old man said, Yes, he told me to find a good friend. I like an old man. I like what? Uh, an old man. It must be an, an old man. You are right, Azeb. We use an before words that begin with vowel sounds like a, e, e, o, and u. Before vowel sounds? Yes, before the letters a, e, i, o, and u. And before other sounds? The other sounds are called consonants. Right. They are called consonants. So, we use A before consonants? Yes, we use A before consonants and we use N before vowel sounds. I want to practice that. That's good. Students, now listen to Tola and Aze practicing A and N with me. Listen. First, Tola. What do we use before old man? An. An old man. Right. An old man. Now, as it. Book. A. A book. Yes. B has a consonant sound, so we use A. A book. Now, Tola. Child. A child. Yes. Now, as it. Ant. An ant. That's very good. Students, now do like Azeb and Tola did. When I say a word, you add a if it begins with a consonant sound and an if it begins with a vowel sound. Teacher, please encourage your students to add a or an to the words I say. Ready, students? All right. Now, what do we use before the word ostrich? Ostrich. An, an ostrich. Right, an ostrich. Now another word. Boy, boy. A, a boy. Yes, a boy. Now another. Ant, ant. An ant. Right, an ant. Now another. Aeroplane. Aeroplane. An aeroplane. Yes. Now, European. European. A European. That's right. That European begins with E. Yes. In fact, it begins with the letter E. But the sound is U, European. So it's a European. Right, a European. Now another, students. Ethiopian. Ethiopian. An, an Ethiopian. That's right, an Ethiopian. Very good, students, very good. Mm -hmm. 
students, do you remember the after close we practiced last time? All right. Now, listen to Tola and Aze practicing again. Listen. Tola, what did you do yesterday after you had got up? After I had got up, I put on my clothes. Then? After I had put on my clothes, I washed my face. After I had washed my face, I ate breakfast. Then? After I had eaten my breakfast, I came to school. Now, it's my turn, Tola. All right. What did you do after you had gone home yesterday? After I had gone home, I helped my mother. Uh-huh. After I had helped my mother, I watched television for an hour. Then? After I had watched television, I studied my lessons. Uh-huh. After I had studied my lessons, I went to bed. That's very good, Tola and Azeb. Students, now do in the same way. In your pairs, tell your partner what you did after you had done another thing. Teacher, please help your students to use after clothes in telling each other what they did yesterday. Go around and help them in taking turns. You have about one and a half minutes. Thank you, teacher. <music> Students, now listen again to the story about the bad friend. Listen. Once upon a time, an old man and a young man were walking through a forest. Suddenly, they saw a bear in front of them. Then. The young man ran to a tree and climbed it. But the old man couldn't climb it because he was too old. Then he remembered that bears do not eat dead people. So he lay on the ground and did not move. The bear smelled his legs, arms and face. Then it went away. The young man came down from the tree. And he asked the old man, Did the bear say anything to you? Yes, the old man said. He told me to find a good friend. Teacher, after the broadcast, ask your students some questions about the story. Please follow your radio guide. Now it's time for us to go. Yes, it's time to go. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. You've been listening to English for Grade 8, Program 22, written and produced by Srafil Zodeh. Join us again next week in Program 23. Till then, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>